Hello, Patriots. Hi, Patriots. Welcome to my segment, which I'll call Christmas Carols, in which I will be sharing my favorite Christmas songs and fun facts about the songs and singers. The first song uh, in the list is going to be All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey. One fun fact about this song is that she didn't want to record the song. Um, she actually, and, and it's the biggest hit by Mariah Carey. The second song in the list is Here Comes Santa Claus by Elvis Presley. And this song, this song was a cover by, by him. He covered this song from Gene Autry, um, not knowing that it will blow up. The third song is San Santa Claus is Coming to Town by the Jackson 5, uh, which hit number one in the Billboard charts the, the first year it was released. The fourth song um, is Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano. And in this, in this case, I'm going to tell you fun facts about the singer. The singer is, was blinded uh, at birth, like he was born blind. Um, and I think, I think that this song, like, it doesn't matter, like, if you, if you have a disability, but music, music can bring you to, to, to do, to do what you love, like, it can give you happiness, cause, cause, uh, and he, in that song, it's always like, it's always like a favorite, a favorite song by, by our, by our fellow Americans, because, because it's just such a happy song, and telling you about love, and, and, and happiness. The fifth song in the list is Drummer Boy by Justin Bieber and he started playing the drums when he was two but he didn't actually learn until he was four years old so he was small. So thus, those are my top five Christmas songs. I hope you listen to them. Hey again, I'm Janelle. I'm here today with a special unboxing video just in time for the holidays. So here I have my Blind Friends package. So I'll be opening this up today and showing you guys what's in it. So here's my box cutter. So here's the box, the box is open. Um, so it has the Life Friends characters on the outside and it has, uh, oh I ripped the tape already, but it has Life Friends mask masking tape to close it too. So I'm opening the box now. Okay, so the first thing I have is this planner. It's a weekly planner. It has 60 weeks in it. So I'm using this for next year. I already have a planner for this year. So this is for next year. It's probably for 2020 inside, but it just says 60 week planner. So here's my 60 week planner. Um, I have um, a folder. It has Sally on it. She's the duck, uh, she's a chick. But here's the folder. And here's another folder with with Ellie, they're friends. Um, so yeah, I have two folders and then my planner's here. And then I have, here's a, I think it's a picnic bag. It's big, I didn't know it was this big, <laughs> but it's cute and it's like pastel and it's cute. So, um, I don't really go on picnics, but maybe now I will, because it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. Um, there's Cody, there's Brown, and there's Sally on it. Um, so yeah, it's big. So now I have um, oh the box. Okay. Here's my stapler. It's brown, and you just staple it like that, and it has this body on it. It's this mini stapler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's a here's a plush. It says plush face key ring on it. It has Coney and an ice cream on it. Cause I guess Coney likes ice cream. 
Um, here's another folder. It has Coney on it. Kind of got bent, but it's okay. I think it'll get strained. But here's another folder. So I have three folders. Let's keep my papers in. Oh, here's a coin bank. It's um, Octa Sally. She's an octopus. I probably won't use it for coins, just for display. But here's Octa Sally. It's part of the jungle brown thing. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. That's it for now, and happy holidays. This document is about how Christmas began. The celebration of Christmas started in Rome around 336. Many Christmas traditions, including decorating trees, started in Germany and later spread to other parts of the world, notably England and the United States. Centuries before the arrival of Jesus Christ, early Europeans celebrated light and birth in, in winter's darkest days. Many people rejoiced during winter solstice when the worst of the winter was behind them. They, and they could look, look forward to longer days and extended hours of sunlight. Now people celebrate Christmas Day by decorating their homes, visiting family or friends, and exchanging gifts. Some, uh, some groups arrange meals, shelters, and, and charitable projects for people without a home or very little money. Children often receive gifts from their parents, relatives, and the mythical figure Santa Claus. The purchase of gifts and holiday food has led to Christmas becoming very commercialized. No matter how you spend the holidays, have fun, be safe, and have a Merry Christmas! Alright, let's see what this is about. Instructions. Solve these riddles to get the chance. Chance to what? Uh, here's your first riddle. Don't come smelling nasty. Ah, got it. What? Alright, I guess. Don't smell nasty. This doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Wait, uh, that's the periodic table. So, chemistry class. Uh, hello? Hello, you must be here for the chance. Yeah, but the chance to what? Sorry, can't say. Oh, okay. But... Once you're done with this riddle, I can give you your next clue. Hmm, well, it looks like I'm making a potion, so... Here we go. Five minutes later. Ooh, that smells kind of good, actually. Sounds like you're ready for the next clue. Here's your next clue. Great. Thank you, by the way. No problem, but you should hurry. Someone else was here earlier. Okay. Roses are red, violets are blue. Make them look good, or I won't pick you. So that's just flowers, right? All right. Ugh. Of course he's here. I can see you, David. Huh? Oh, hey, uh, I didn't see you there. I was just, uh, you know, uh, walking. Yeah, sure. Just stay on your side. Yep, totally will. 
<sighs> There's no clue here. So what am I doing wrong? Hmm. Let me look at the clue again. Make them look good. Mm. Oh. It's gotta be talking about flower arrangement then. Oh, I gotta sneak out of here. Hi, uh, I think I need help putting these flowers together. Ah, yes. Let me help you. A few inches later. There you go. Here's your next clue. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and this says... You told me they were fake. For that, I can vouch. I still want a fresh one. Bring it to the red couch. <laughs> So, what you eating? Blueberry muffin. Can I have some? Y you know this is fake, right? How would I, how would I share a fake blueberry muffin? Maybe they're fake for that kind of <gasps> I need a muffin. Oh wait, let me use that potion. Okay. Oh yay, you brought me food and flowers. And you smell good? Now we can go to the dance together. It's your boy Riley, and I'm back here with another episode of Shoe Mania. And we're gonna spice it up a little bit. This episode, I know you guys are used to having special guests on the show, you know, talking about different things about life and, of course, about sneakers. But this episode is gonna be different. Since the new year is coming to an end, and first semester is coming to an end as well, we're gonna end it with a banger video. We are, I'm going to show you my top seven favorite kicks to wear, all right? And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why they're my favorite shoes to wear. Let's get it on. So I would say starting at seven, you know, we always have those shoes that you put on. And me personally, I love Jordans. I do, I really do. It's just, there's been one shoe that has been catching my eye. Every single time I see a pair, I always have to cop one. And that is the Vapormax. You guys will see a lot of Vapormaxes in here. Okay? So starting off at seven, you know, like I said, a Vapormax. This Vapormax is very, very, very nice. Very comfortable. And honestly, you could honestly wear these with anything. Anything. It is the Cookie and Cream Vapor Maxes. These are fire. I love wearing these. I, I wear them on occasion. I wear them on occasion, but these are super fire. They retail for maybe 180, at most 180, 190. That was usually around retail sometimes, but you know, I got my plugs, so I'm just saying. But yeah, this is a very beautiful shoe. As you guys can see, it has this chrome front glistening off. But yeah, this shoe is very beautiful. And the thing I like about Vapor Maxes is that Vapor Maxes, like, they pop out. 
and they're very light. And they're a shoe you can work out with. You can honestly be flying. You can do anything you want. And that's why I really been favoriting for, uh, towards like the Vapor Maxes itself. So this is gonna be shoe seven. This is gonna be one of, this is gonna be at number seven. Beautiful shoe, this is one of my favorite shoes. All right. Now, coming at number six, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people have this shoe. And it's not a shoe that a lot of people would, per se, oh, let me wear an outfit with this shoe. Let me go out to dinner with this shoe. No. This is going to catch you off guard. This shoe, I love wearing it. If I'm just in bed, oh, let me go to the store real quick, put them on, or I'm going to the beach, I'm going to a water park, I'm, or I, I might wear this shoe before I play basketball to be comfy in. And that is no other than my Crocs. What y'all thought I was going to say? Yeezys? I love my Yeezys, but my Yeezys haven't came in yet, my boy. But listen, though. I love, I love just the, the look, and they're comfortable. They're comfortable, and don't roast me in the comments. I haven't got my jibbits. That's what you call them, I think. You can customize them. You can put jibbits in the holes and make them look cool, anything, but I will for sure be ordering them, and these will honestly be, I'm gonna have to give me a couple more pair of these before I head off to college. So these are like, yeah, they, I love, I love Croc. I'm gonna have to give me a couple more pair of these, of course, like I said, but this shoe is amazing. It's light, comfortable, and you can slip it on real easy to go anywhere. And no one's gonna say anything because they're always gonna compliment what shoe, no matter what style you have. So yeah, these are gonna be, these are coming in definitely at six. Of course, these are coming in at six. And yeah, I just love Crocs, man. All right. Now let's get to shoe five. Coming in at five, this was really hard because I'm looking right now and it's some really crazy shoes that I have here. So coming at five, I would definitely have to say we're going to have to go ahead and pick these. These are as well, Vapor Max as well. I love wearing these. These shoes, this, this uh, shoe goes with Heritage colors, red and blue. So it's real, it's a real blendy, blendy type of shoe to wear. It's really cool in style and honestly, I love it. I love wearing them. I wear them a lot and they always look fly. They look clean or light. And like I said, I love my Vapor Maxes like I said. So now number five is definitely gonna be going to the blue and red Vapor Maxes. These are, mm, these are beautiful. These are very beautiful. Nike, they came out with this colorway and I seen it and I said I had to cop. I had to cop. And Nike, honestly, a lot of people might say, yeah, Jordan might be my favorite. My uh, Jordan might be the best brand or Adidas might be the best brand, but no. Nike, in my opinion, my personal preference is the best brand. The best brand. Let me tell you why. Because Nike can come out with a shoe to play basketball, to play football, to play golf, to run, to, to do any sport, honestly. And they can also come out with some cool, some cool clothes for people to wear that people like in their preference. And just some sick shoes. These are running shoes and these are fly shoes. I love these shoes. I love Vapor Maxes. These are my favorite shoes in the world right now. And I have a lot of Vapor Maxes and I plan on getting even more. So yeah, these are definitely coming in at number five. I just... These are very beautiful shoes. So let me get another close-up on them. These are some nice shoes, and they they can go with a lot of things. You, you get what I'm saying? All right. Now, getting to the top four. And the top four is usually, let me see the heat. But like I said, like I said, my Yeezys haven't came in yet, so I have not got to throw them at y'all yet, but I will, I sure will, soon, but not now, I'm not going to spoil all my heat, but let me get to number four, so number four is a shoe that's like, it's definitely for sneakerheads, a must, 
like I said in, I believe it was my last episode with my boy Vince, shout out my boy Vince, I said this shoe is a must. It is a must. So, and coming in number four, we have, hopefully, the light don't project off and you can't really see it well because the shoe is so bright and nice and whew, we got the G Fazos. Look how beautiful these are. We got the G Fazos. Perfect. Immaculate condition. Beautiful shoe. One of the most beautiful shoe in the world, in my opinion. It goes with anything. And it just makes like, you don't even have to have the best. You can walk outside in a jacket and some khakis and have these on. Oh. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Cause these are just beautiful. They're, and I love them honestly. And you can you can honestly, they're not hard to get at all. This is just like for me, in my opinion, I feel like it's a must for people who like just love enduring into the sneaker, the sneaker like world and different stuff like that. But yeah, I, I feel like this is a must from and yeah, this is very beautiful shoe. I I would suggest people to get this shoe. It's a very classic, like very classic and nice shoe. And this is just a sneakerhead must, like I said. And yeah, this is coming in at number four for sure. Definitely. Might be number one on some people's list, but like me, I said I have some heat. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. So yeah. All right, y'all. Like I said, top three. Coming in at number three. It is. This shoe is like, it's a shoe that has a lot of backstory to it. I'm not gonna get too into it, but just know that my sophomore year, this is my first time ever getting some custom shoes. And they came out fire when they were brand new. They still look good. They're in used condition because I used them my sophomore year. And they're not getting rid of them. I'm not. I am not at all. These are. <laughs> they look a little beat up. But look, these are limited edition. My shoe that I had customized. Black Panther, RIP, Chadwick Boseman. Black Panther is legendary. I felt like this was, when I first got them, they were so beautiful and they still are. And I loved hooping everywhere in them. But these, these babies are so nice. They're light, they're comfortable. And they did the job when I'm on the, oh, 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 heavy, oh. But like I said, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, these are fire shoes, you know. I personally, for a hooper, I would say you could usually get some of these for at least even the backup for practice or anything because these are some very reliable shoes. Good grip, everything like that. But I just had to get these customized, you see. Get a close-up on them real quick. They look a little beat, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, though, because at the end of the day, I played with them, had a heck of a season, and getting on to the next. Love them, though. All right, you guys. Now we're coming to top two. I would say, now that we're coming to top two, this was very hard, debatable. Very, very, very hard. But I made my final decision. Coming in at two is a shoe that is a different type of fabric, material. Suede. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful retro Jordan. And this is called, oh my. Goodness, Lord have mercy. These are the Derek Jeter Lowe's Jordan 11 Retros. These are beautiful. These are a shoe that took me a little while to get. But, you know, I have my ways. I have my bloods. I know where I'm going to get my shoes from. So, yeah, this is a very beautiful shoe. It's just, this is just, it can go with a lot of things if you match it right. You know what I'm saying? And this is just a very beautiful shoe. A lot of sneakerheads, like, this is a hard shoe to get a handle of. And they also have a high top shoe as well. I will be getting that soon just to go match with them. You know what I'm saying? So just to have a pair next to each other. And the box is very beautiful as well. So it's, like, it's crazy. But, yeah, you, of course, like I said, it's Jared Jeter. Derek Jeter was sponsored by Jordan when he played for the Yankees. This is Yankee color. And also came with a, another, uh, what is it called? Another lacing. And the lacing is actually, like, a material in a, a baseball glove. You know what I'm saying? It's like a kind of like a baseball glove material. But I got a hand and I threw the retro Jordan 11 
went in because it just looks so fire with this. But yeah, Derek Jeter was also number two. That's when the back four and everything like that. And I believe inside it says what he, what he was known for, like his thing, where it was respect. It says it inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. See a little wording in there, but it says respect with the two in the middle. But yeah, these are fire. Like these are just these are some some real fire kicks, and I suggest you guys to get some of these. If you guys do see them, you should cop. In my preference, my favorite Jordans are, the, are low top 11s and fours. By the way, all right, y'all, coming to an end. The number one shoe in my shoe collection that I like just that is so fire, so fire, and it's so hard to get. Because a lot of people don't want to get their hands off of this shoe. But like I said, Vapor Maxes are the best shoes in the world right now, in my opinion. Coming in at number one are my Safari. Oh my. Say it again. Are my Safari Vapor Max 3.0s. Look how beautiful these are. Look at the detail. This is like a sub Safari, like this vibe. You see the shoelaces? It's like raindrops, raindrops, and just raindrops right here. And there's just like the orange, just black. It's like a whole bunch of colors just thrown at a shoe. And it's just so amazing. The colorway Nike, Nike can just like create. And it's so cool because Nike, in my opinion, has like the best colorways, literally the best colorways. And no one can really compete with them, in my opinion. But like I said, it's my opinion. But yeah, these are... These are light. Like I said, Vapor Maxes are very good shoes to get. So these are light, real reliable, and those are my top seven shoes. My favorite shoes. My favorite shoes. My top favorite shoes. And yeah, these are just some real cool shoes, man, that I, I wanted to share with you guys. I know I always talk about it in the videos and stuff, but I just want to give you a little, a little look at uh, what, I'm, what I'm rocking with right now. I have I have way more shoes. Like I have more shoes all right here, but I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna save those for another video if I have another video exactly like this for end of the second semester. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. But appreciate you guys for stepping in. I know this this episode was a little different, but hey, I hope you liked it. Um, text me anytime. Like you could just you could comment or anything like that. Which one of your favorite shoes? But like I said, wish y'all could see me around school. We are going through this online stuff. So, hey, y'all. It is what it is. Catch you guys on the flip side. Appreciate you guys for watching. And stay tuned for next semester's first episode. Special guest is going to be crazy. Out.